As provided in the East African Community Treaty, the East African Legislative Assembly is holding its rotational seating in the Burundi capital of Jombura. The host president, Pierre Nkurunziza, who graced the opening of the session at the Burundian parliament, gave the keynote address. It takes place today when the East African Legislative Assembly has undergone significant changes in its leadership following some harsh times it went through. Interestingly, barely two months to the presidential elections scheduled for 26 June, President Nkurunziza is silent on whether he would seek re-election. Burundi has got a, a history ranging from the 1993 election of a president who was killed in only 100 days to the sanctions by the international community in the 90s to now. Now, the, the capacity to test democracy is going to be now when they are faced with a challenge of, of discontent. But addressing the regional assembly, President Nkurunziza assured the East Africans that the elections would be peaceful and he invited international observers to witness the process. Much has been done to pave the way for peaceful, free and fair elections. If the ruling CNDD, FDD party endorses President Nkurunziza, he will be vying for his second elective term in office. This is a period to secure the future of the country through the ballot box. We pray and we believe that a strong Burundi is a strong East African community. In 2005, Kurunziza was first elected by parliament, but that term which is served until 2010 is not considered an elective term. As the polls near, the president is on pressure to meet people's expectations. The country is grappling with inadequate fuel and water in the capital of Jumbura. <coughs> Meanwhile, former Speaker of the Assembly, Margaret Zwa, made her first appearance in Yara since her Oster late last year. I want to tell Ugandans that, yes, the members had the power to remove me as Speaker, but they never have power to remove me as a member. And I'm here as a member, and I'm a fully-fledged member of the East African Legislative Assembly, and I was elected as a member. Zwa who was censured by colleagues for disrespecting them and violating rules of procedure, was replaced by Daniel Fred Kidega. You at one time became the youngest president in Africa and the world. He has become one of the youngest speakers in the region and Africa. President Pierre Nkurunziza had earlier in the same house said he has seen the character of a speaker in Chidega. He thanked the Yara members for electing a youthful speaker. Jingo Francis, NTV, Bujumbura, in Burundi.